Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hi, if you're any here, my name is Chelsea and thank you so much for clicking on my video. So as you can see from the title, we are filming a feminine hygiene routine. Just started by lighting up some candles and I'm going straight into melting some waxing beans. These beans are from Tress Wellness and thank you to Tress Wellness for sponsoring this video. The Tress Wellness kit is the best selling kit on Amazon. It comes with a digital wax warmer, a pre-wax and an after wax spray. Five different scented beans made from natural ingredients, face and body popsicle sticks, a beginner guide and paper rings, as well as a two-year warranty. So once the wax was fully melted, I just turned down the temperature to anywhere between 60 to 80 degrees because at that point it's not too hot. And I'm going in with the pre-wax spray to prepare my skin and then just going right in so as you can see my pits are definitely pigmented <laughs> and yes i do have normal armpits um i do have hyperpigmentation on my underarms which is okay to be honest waxing really helps with the hyperpigmentation i used to shave and i was shaving for quite a while which is why the, there's quite a lot of hyperpigmentation, but with the waxing, it's really been helping. And that's how much I was able to remove with one wax. So on this underarm, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a rectangular hyperpigmentation. That was actually caused by soft wax so if you guys know like you can get the cheap um you know waxing strips from like tesco or target if you live in the us or whatever and i used that at one point and because of having to rip the hair multiple times it did end up causing quite a lot of hyperpigmentation which is what i'm trying to avoid so just doing this at home is so convenient the trust wellness kit is so easy to use it comes with everything that you need and it's actually very cost effective if you look at it in the grand scheme of things so make sure you check it out i'll leave all the links in the description box and once again thank you to trust wellness for sponsoring this portion of the video so now we're just diving right into the skincare so today i'm just gonna be cleansing my skin demoplaning and cleaning my piercing i'm going in with the nipin fab purify salicylic acid gel cleanser um i have been using this um cleanser for a while now and honestly i am not really sure if it's doing much <laughs> because i do have normal skin so a lot of products do work well on my face so i can't necessarily say if it's done much but to say the least it has salicylic acid and niacinamide so it is perfect if you have texturized skin which is normally my biggest concern when it comes to my skin sometimes it just tends to be a little dull and you know looking a bit tired and anything that has niacinamide in it is always my best friend so i'm just double cleansing because i do have i did have layers of sunscreen and it's important to double cleanse and now i'm going in with a fresh new razor to shave the hair off my face which is a derma planing and with this just hold your skin taut and make sure that you're going you're using light strokes because you don't want to end up bruising your skin be very gentle with this and once i'm done i'm going in with some cotton swabs to clean my piercing as you guys can see if this is your first time here i do have a new piercing um I have a double piercing now which is exciting so i'm just making sure to clean that properly so that it doesn't get infected and once we're done we are ready to start getting ready for the shower So 
So now I'm moving to dry brushing, which I do love dry brushing because of the exfoliating properties. People do say it also helps with cellulite. Honestly, I don't really care about that, to be honest. I just love the feeling of the soft skin afterwards. And now I'm ready to jump into the shower. I have been using this room spray, which is lavender and chamomile scent. It smells so fresh. It just feels so good when I'm jumping into the shower, when it runs in the hot water. I use exfoliating gloves. I always love using exfoliating gloves. That means, which means I exfoliate my skin every single day. And I know that's probably a bit much. Um, I'm probably not supposed to be doing that, but I just, I love the feeling of my skin, you know, just soft and smooth and exfoliation just does that for me. So unfortunately, that's not something that I'm willing to change. Um, for now, yeah, I do exfoliate my skin every single day and my skin loves it. I'm just noticing that I have very flexible arms because I'm able to wash my back <laughs> with my hand. So I'm just moving to wash my legs. I've been paying a lot more attention to my butt, like making sure I exfoliate my butt properly. Of course, I've not shown you guys that here, but I've really been making sure to exfoliate my butt like properly because she can get a little dry, okay? She needs the tender love and care as well. So now I'm moving in with the simple refreshing shower gel. I'm just using this on my underarms because it is unscented and considering I have just waxed my arms, they're still pretty sensitive so I don't want to go with anything abrasive. And now I'm moving into the body scrub. This body scrub is the one. This is the one from Fenty Skin. It is the Buff Rider, I think that's what it's called. Oh wow, when I tell you it just melts beautifully into the skin, oh it is so beautiful. It just melts into this oil which is so moisturizing and hydrating, ah stunning. And to exfoliate my legs, I'm moving in with the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. This one is in the pomegranate and shea butter scent. It smells so good and I'm actually running out so paying a lot more attention on my knees because those areas do tend to get very dry so it's important to exfoliate them to just get rid of the dead skin and that is what helps to keep them soft and help with the hyperpigmentation as well. And now to foot care, I'm using this foot buffer to exfoliate my feet. I actually have a very very soft um, feet so I don't do this every day I do this three times or twice a week actually if you guys would like um, a foot care routine let me know because I actually have a routine for my feet because I really do take care of my feet and I've always had them pretty soft since I was young so now I'm moving in with the honeypot feminine wash this is a new addition and I have been seeing all the girlies talking about it so I decided to get one for myself and this one is a sensitive skin one because the girlie down there is pretty sensitive and now to my favorite part body care another Fenty skin product oh man when I tell you I am in love with this moisturizing cream it's an understatement it just it's a, it's a cream but once you start applying it melts into an oil I think you can kind of tell by now that I do love any product that's gonna make my skin just glow and feel moisturized I love feminine products that smell good paying attention, paying close attention to the feet, making sure they're moisturized. As you guys can see, they do look soft. Tell me they don't look soft. <laughs> Taking care of my body just is such an important thing for me. It just makes me so happy. I that, that is always the time that I feel so in touch with my femininity. I love to see my body glow. I love to know that I'm taking care of my skin regardless of the imperfections. As you can see, I wanted to give you guys a close up. I do have 
um i have i do have hyperpigmentation caused by body acne but that should never be an excuse for not taking care of my skin that is how the back is looking And now this is also a new step that I have been doing. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic Toner and I'm using this in my underarms. It has 5% glycolic acid and I have been seeing on TikTok that glycolic acid is actually a good addition to your underarms because it helps with the order. And now considering I did the dermaplaning, I am just only going to use hydrating serums on my face because I don't want to go with any product that's going to be even more exfoliating. So for today, I'm keeping it simple with just hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. Just let that sit into the skin. And going in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is a cream that I've been using for a while and it's been doing, it's been serving me well, but I'm, I'm bored, I'm bored. So I'm going to try something else <laughs> pretty soon. And now going into fragrance, going in with Baccarat Rouge. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm sick of smelling like this. So I've just been using this fragrance in the house because I don't want to smell like that outside. And now finally moving into dental care, I do use Sensodyne toothpaste because I have very sensitive skin. Once I'm done, I'm moving in with this tongue scraper. Honestly, this is also a new addition to my routine and I can actually vouch for this. If you don't clean your tongue with a scraper, I don't know what you're doing. And finishing off with some cuticle oil for my nails to just make sure they look bright and nice and we are done that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye